The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning po sa inyo lahat at welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. The process of dying, pagkamatay, pagkawala, of anything or anyone is not easy. Hindi po madaling pag-usapan ang kamatayan or death or the end of something. Kadalasan ito ay nagdudulot ng sakit, lungkot, at uh, confusion, nakaka-bewilder. And our lives change in this process. Kahit tayo mismo ay nagbabago because of the experience of death or the end. However, in today's Gospel, when we, celebrate, when we are celebrating the Feast of St. Lawrence the Deacon, Jesus promises that through our dying, we will bear fruit. Ang problema is, do we trust and believe in the promise of Jesus? But the reality is that we die many times throughout our lifetime. Isipin lang po natin, di ba? Hindi naman tayo laging... Well, buhay na buhay. It may be a loss of a child. It may be the loss of a spouse. Or going, letting go of a dream na hindi natin ma-realize. Or of being seriously ill. Pagka tayo ay may nararamdamang sakit na medyo matagal na. The thought of the end, yung katapusan, is of something or someone actually forces us to be humble, maging mapagpakumbaba. But such ends or deaths need not be confined to mere fate, F-A-T-E, luck or chance, or yung tinatawag natin sa Tagalog na tadhana. Ginuhit siya ng tadhana, kaya tanggapin mo na lang. Kaya kumisan, masakit tanggapin ang katapusan. The end, the, end, the death, or the conclusion of a period in our lives is but a process to transition to a new beginning. Gano naman ho talaga ang buhay. If we will take a moment and remember a time of dying in our lives, be that the death of a loved one, loss of a job, Financial reversals, dati mayaman tayo, ngayon hindi na tayo masyadong mayaman o naghihikahos na, or a serious illness. Pagkatapos ng mga ilang araw, buwan o taon, hindi ba marirealize natin that there were also some gifts you received during that painful time? In other words, yung ating pinghati, yung ating pagdadalamhati ay hindi permanente. Perhaps the family bonds were strengthened in the process. Diba kung minsan pagka nagkakawatak-watak ang pamilya kasi nawala yung isang haligi ng tahanan, that is an opportunity for the family to bind together. Or maybe 
we began to appreciate the concern and care of our neighbors or co-workers express sa atin. Or perhaps this difficult experience forced you to turn to God for the grace and strength you needed. And we realized that God was there for us. Diba yun yung mga uh, moments in our life when we were down and out. In other words, we already reached the bottom and there is no other way to go down but up. Sino bang tinata- hina- tinatawag o tinatawag natin at kinakapitan? Di ba ang Diyos, ang Panginoon? Tapos marirealize natin that indeed, hindi tayo nag-iisa na ando ng Panginoon. So that is a gift. That is a grace. Uh, kumisan, sasabihin natin parang hindi tayo sinasagot ng Diyos sa ating mga panalangin. Pero it is in those darkest moments of our life that we realize that indeed, God is nearest to us. The gift is that often, long after death, and our acceptance of that loss, we may realize that new life is indeed emerging. And thus we can continue on with the promise of hope and joy. May pag-asa at merong tinatawag na joy uh, hindi naman kaligayahan ang ibig sabihin ng joy, kundi ibang panatag ang loob mo, natatanggap mo yung mga pasakit sa buhay, and there is a certain equanimity. Meron kang peace of mind, di ba? Hindi ka naman jumping for joy, pero tanggap mo, in, uh, hindi ka nababahala, hindi ka anxious, because you know that God is there for you. Today is an opportunity for all of us to look back at our lives and remember the many times we have died. Then remember the beckoning of new life that invited us to love again, laugh again, and be joyful once again. Alam ninyo dito sa aming kumbento, merong isang malaking puno ng sampalok. Siguro mat- matanda na iyon mas matanda pa sa akin. At, at there was a time when I was going to the sacristy for the mass. All of a sudden, yung area na yon na kung saan namin itinatago yung mga aso, kung minsan, biglang napuno siya ng mga bagong sibol na uh, sampalo. Punong-puno, parang damo. In other words, uh, hindi namin napapansin yung mga maliliit na buto ng sampalok. But all of a sudden, after a rain, nagsabay-sabay silang umusbong. I think that for me is a symbol of who we also are. Sabi nga sa gospel, if you are a seed, you remain a seed. But if you are planted on, earth, on the earth or on the soil, then you begin to bloom and become fruitful. Sino bang mag-aakala na sa isang maliit na butil ng sampalo ay naandyan pala yung puno? Diba? Ganun din ang ating buhay. Kaya huwag tayong matatakot kapag tayo ay nawawalan, kapag tayo ay namamatayan, or even our own deaths. We have to face it bravely because the Lord is promising us today that we indeed we are going to bear much fruit.